This is the story of Opportunity Bank Serbia. Our context, our history and how SPM, Social Performance Management, help us become what we are today. A profitable bank focused on non-traditional poor clients looking to the future with optimism. We are double bottom line institution. Our primary focus is uh, impact to the Serbian economy and, you know, making a difference and transformation to people's lives. OI Serbia is uh, 230 staff, more than $100 million in assets. Lending uh, portfolio is over $75 million or more, $80 million. And we have 14,000 clients with deposits, more than $70 million in deposits. Opportunity Bank was started in Serbia originally as Opportunity Savings Bank. Uh, due to uh, USAID and OI efforts to rebuild the country after the war in 1999. In the last 15 years did Serbia go in good direction. There were some improvements, but there was political and economical turmoils that left Serbia one of the poorest countries in Europe. Poor in Serbia means cash poor. You don't have money to pay for basic food, for uh, utilities, and for your kids' education. Privatization and bankruptcy of the big state companies left a lot of old people very poor. And they have no chance of employment anymore because even the new companies that are opening are not wanting to employ the older people. In 1990s, the whole banks were wiped out. The whole deposits, everything was just bankrupt. And people lost the trust in banks completely. When we got our savings bank license, there was only one bank. And then eventually, over the next 10 years, there was another 20 entrants coming from different regions of Europe. Apart from one competitor, all other banks were like traditional retail and corporate banks. They never really supported SME, they never really supported micro-business and, and under bank and startups, which were really the part that was most needed in Serbia. We experienced the mission drift, almost went bank to the bankruptcy, uh, because the main uh, strategic mistake was you as a small bank wanted to imitate the big banks. People coming from big banks, they wanted us to go into credit cards, they wanted us to go to ATMs, mobile banking, you know, fancy mobile banking for the urban areas. It was sometimes a monthly challenge. You really didn't know if you were going to survive till the next quarter. In 2008, we stayed of bankruptcy and began to recover by returning to our original mission. Our dramatic change came in 2013 when we decided to introduce SPM. It gave meaning and context to our mission. We had an excellent SPM champion, Mirjana, who was incredibly organized, incredibly understanding the issues, and also knowing the bank for the 10 years. We thought it was something almost impossible for us to implement, and we also didn't know much about that. It was just an expression, a strange abbreviation, uh, that no one really understood. I was a bit scared, uh, I was a bit frustrated because I felt like why is something that nobody else wants to do always ending up in my department. Also I just came back from maternity leave and uh, you know people were thinking Oh, she has a small baby, her brain is not working anymore, and maybe I was thinking that too, because it's always hard to come back when you are away for, for a longer period. Then I decided that, okay, if I'm going to do it, I will just put my best into it. And I decided to educate myself 
about what SPM is. There are whole libraries of very useful documents uh, which just make it so much clearer and much less abstract than this abbreviation. SPM is the social performance management. It means what we are doing to assess whether we are achieving our mission. From all my reading about SPM, I saw that the next logical step was to request for the social audit and also for client protection certification, which is also called a smart certification. I thought uh, that this was going to be a good exercise for us to learn what we needed to do in order to become SPM compliant. We did social audit and the client protection certification at the same time and there was just one team coming uh, consisting of two persons from Microfinanza rating from Italy. Even though we were afraid of their coming, asking questions, looking into procedures, policies, looking into our portfolio, we received so many useful advice uh, from Microfinanza team. They were very open, they were very pleasant, they were not like a burden to us, although it took a lot of time. They interviewed a lot of people, it was cross-examination, you know, if they heard something from somebody other, they checked, you know, so we don't uh, really just tell them a nice story. Some of the specific steps that we needed to take in order to achieve certification were, for example, redefine our rule book on collateral, and this was the responsibility of the risk department. We had to define a percentage of clients that we visit annually as part of our quality control. In addition to all this, we had to make many other adjustments and changes uh, in our activities, uh, in HR, in compliance, in quality control, in collections, and so on. This task was the task of the entire bank and of every and each department of the bank. We were getting ideas. The whole management team was meeting regularly to have updates on the process. Of that senior team of, let's say, 10, 15 of management team in the bank, half of them were very hesitant to embark on something that they didn't see a real benefit from. Definitely, the uh, board was probably even the biggest challenge in our SPM process. We had the minorities who were not really double bottom line investors. They wanted only, only return on equity and most of the SPM work was almost not necessary in their eyes. And eventually, minorities left the board and now we are 100% owned by Opportunity and we now have a full support of the board for the SPM project. Nobody expected such a good grade for the first social rating. We got the A-, and I think nobody expected that, really. We just couldn't believe it. I was the one that uh, first saw the mail, and I think I was the loudest that day <laughs> running <laughs> through the corridors and telling everybody, did you see it, did you see it, did you see it, we got it. The biggest immediate benefit of SPM and the certification process was that it helped us improve our service to three of the poorest groups in Serbia – rural farmers, pensioners and small business startups. The social data we collect and the new policies we have implemented have made us more efficient and able to help our clients transform their lives. SPM has helped us become even more client-focused, which I thought was almost impossible. SPM enhanced our mission alignment and our focus on client. Our client advisor goes to a village, can do up to five or six applications a day instead of going three or four times, which is gas time. Our client, instead of coming to the office two or three times, only comes once and he gets his uh, loan under two hours. Our client sometimes is not literate, he may not have all his feet, he may not have ever seen a bank from inside. 
first time in his life he's called a sir, please sir, would you uh, sit down? How can we help you? May we'll help you, you know? It's just treating people with respect, which is total SPN. Ja sam došla tu kao kao prognano izbeglo lice, razumješ sa nulom. Ja sam tu došao sa nulom. Ja sam tu došao i se mimo nigde ništa. Razumješ? Nigde ništa u Srbiji. Najprije s kozama, pa sam poslije eto svinjama, pa sa ovcama, pa sa kravama. Pa eto došao sam pošto sam milovana kao druga prijatelja kako već nazvao, tu upozna u selu, malo je dolazio u kroz selo, prolazio je. Tu su već ljudi malo uzimali, uzimali kredite, tako da sam ja i tu. Postala je lokalna firma koja je nesrećnom, odnosno privatizacijom, jednostavno prestala sa poslovnom saradnjom i ljudi su bili prinuđeni da se snalaze da bi preživjeli, da bi opstali u ovim ovdje uslovima koji su udaljeni od grada. Pa kažem, zatvorila se zadruga, zadruga se kažem razatvorila, ja sam onda kažem ti prešao na povećanje svinja, povećanje šta ja znam, onda sam držao koza i šta ja znam, tako da sam onda prešao na da bi mogo da živim, da bi mogo da životanje, da školim to dvoje dječice, jel? Kako bi objasnio, drugarski, pošto mi čovjek sve kažem ti, iziđe u susret i objasni mi sve putem kakvim, kojim, kako, koja kamata, kako, šta, šta mi je povoljnije, šta mi nije povoljnije, razumete? S čovjekom se jedem isto kao, kao sa mojim roditeljem i šta ja znam, drugarom, prijateljom. U celom je Sama penzionerka, imam dvoje djece, dvoje unučadi i tako živimo. U Portornici banku super je. Kad god dođem ili nazovem telefonom i pitam ako nešto me treba, oni odgovori i sve. I ako nema vremena, kaže ja zovem posle da vam kažem o čemu se radi i sve jako lepo. Prvi kredit sam podigla kad mi je muž umro i ostala sam dužna, imala sam dugove na račune da platim struju i gas i tako. Penzioner biti u Srbiji je jako strašno. Ja imam, moj muž bio profesor na fakultetu i ja imam 19.800 dinara penzije. Ja od toga živim. Ako platim račune, onda nemam za hleb. Ako kupim lijekove, ove gore, onda opet moram da tražim od njih. Fortunić banku sam preporučila moj prijateljici Đuđi. Onda sam preporučila ovaj... Branki, onda moj prijateljici Mirjani, pa moj sin, on je isto, Mirjaninoj čerki. Preporučila sam oportunić banku zbog toga što sam nekako imala poverenje u to da će sto posto izaći im u susret. Prve kredite sam počeo sa oportuniti bankom. Pa, bavimo se uglavnom starim zanatom, znači proizvodnjom kanapa od kojeg se proizvode mreže za futbal, ruko, meta, odbojku, proizvodnjom brizganja plastike, proizvodnjom gumiranja, organiziranjem gume. Žena radi u kući, plete mreže, zavese. Samim SPM-om smo dobili neku orijentaciju sa kojim klijentima možemo da radimo. Znači da su to klijenti koji imaju slabiji pristup ka bankama, možemo da im poboljšamo život tako što ćemo im dati kredit, oni će zaposliti dodatne ljude. Ono što mi se dopada kod Nataše kao mog kreditnog savjetnika je to što je fleksibilna, dolazi kod mene kući, ne moram da idem u banku. Jako je brza realizacija kredita i jednostavno osjećam se opušteno, znači ne moram da... The basic of everything is trust, you know. Somebody has to trust you to, in order to grow with you, to live with you. We always uh, emphasize to, to our client advisor, be open, uh, promote values that you promote at home. Be honest, be transparent, uh, speak freely, don't make any judgments, you know, uh, be modest. 
SPM has also made us more efficient, profitable and a better workplace. Our clients are more loyal, trust us more and are more satisfied with our services. Our vision is clearer and we are a stronger, even prouder team. To be officially recognized as the institution which protects its client according to institutionalized standard, it was really a very big honor for us. It is something that not many organizations in the world have. We started receiving attention from, from Opportunity International, from our different stakeholders such as USAID. After we obtained our certifications, I was communicating it to our current lenders and potential investors. They had a really great reactions and positive comments. One year ago, our cost of funding was on euros was 8%, now it's 6%. You will be, lose your chance to, to be profitable if you don't embed a SPM in your culture because you will be just excluded from microfinance community. So this is now investment for the future. Before, we were thinking that we do good. Now with SPM, we know exactly how much impact and how much good we do to the society. SPM is the tool to track your impact to the society. I put SPM numbers, how, job, how many jobs we sustained and created, uh, what was the percentage of uh, low income, uh, relatively poor or poor people, prior to the profits, with intention, to show people that for us, Profit is very important, but what is our impact to Serbian society is even more important. 35% is right now the, the percentage of our poor clients, and the goal uh, for this year is 40%. We have over 50% of rural clients, which is something that I don't think any one bank in Serbia could say we know that our client retention rate has increased since we have started uh, with the SPM project. So from 64% it's now over 70. SPM uh, became embedded in everything we do. So one of uh, the key moments was uh, including SPM into our onboarding training. Now when I'm hiring a manager, I can always say we will pay you the same like other bank but you have one additional benefit. You work in an organization that makes a difference in Serbia. You need to be proud of what you do. You turn around and say, this is my bank, this is where I work, these are my colleagues, this is what we did, this, this, uh, these are the jobs we helped to retain or open. This is our certificate, we are A plus SPM. SPM is something that is absolutely worth doing. It's a lot of hard work at the beginning, but at the end it has so much sense that you even ask yourself, why, why didn't we do this before? Creating this little economic miracle in the midst of a crisis of a very, very, very uh, dire circumstances in our country, I'm immensely proud. It was a big opportunity for me and a big challenge because it was such a success I also feel successful Pa osećaj je veliki zato što jednostavno došao sam svojim radom do svega ovoga došao sam sa svojim porodicom do jednog posla Najviše se sviđa kod oportunist banke zato što je prema klijentima izlaze u susret Iziđe nam u susred kada god nam zatreba u sjetvama, u ovim onim problemima, ako smo nekvim. Ovo stvarno je ovaj, oni pažljivi i, i, i sve najlepše, najlepše. Ne kažem ja sad zbog toga što ste vi tu, nego najiskrenije kažem da je stvarno je tako. When I think about our bank, I think first about our clients. Jugoslav, Slavko and Netalka. I think of our staff, branch managers like Slobodan and our client advisors like Natasha and Milovan and their commitment. I can honestly say, and I am sure, beyond any doubt, that SPM has been critical to a bright future for our clients and our bank team.